Hey teacher friends, are you tired of your students showing you their screens that they need permission? Are your emails just blowing up, requesting access to this and to that? Well, I've got a great tip for you that has worked for me 100% of the time and it saved me a lot of those issues and I'm going to show it to you in this video. For more content like this, like, subscribe and turn notifications on. All right, so real quick. I just want to remind everyone about the shop for the math teacher's shirts. And if you're a teacher that has a suggestion on a shirt, I'd be happy to make it for you if you'll just leave it in the Google form in the link in the description down below. All right, so the best tip so that you don't have to worry about your sharing permissions from Google Drive to Schoology. All right, I know it's pesky, I know it's annoying, but the best tip I can give you all right is i don't know how everyone organizes their google drive i'm kind of a folder you know i don't know I, I get stressed out if i don't have everything in a folder like i've worked on these today and i haven't put them anywhere and it's kind of bothering me because i don't like anything not to be in my folder but so the biggest thing that would help you and it helped me so most i teach seventh grade math right now so everything i've posted is either in my seventh grade math folder my bitmoji drawings or i have a school schoology only videos so any of those folders inside my google drive what i did was i just changed the folder share permissions all right so that anyone on the internet with this link can view it all right that changed everything in the folder to those same permissions and i didn't have to worry about anything so my advice to you, if you don't have any folders, is to make you a Schoology folder, all right? And then change, even though I spelled Schoology wrong, change the permissions to hit the blue button. Now you may have this for your school. And in my experience, at least the way my school has it set up, this still does not work in Schoology. You need it to be anyone with a link can view. And once you do that, anything that you create inside this folder has those same sharing permissions so i created an example google doc i go to share oh i have to name it so let's go test all right and boom anyone on the link it's a brand new thing i just created it it works for anything inside the folder and it's awesome then you don't have to worry about getting all those goofy emails with this and with that about I need permission or I need this I can't watch it mr. coach Miller I can't see any you don't have to worry about that if you'll just make a folder and put everything inside so if you enjoyed this leave me a like leave me a comment if it helped you out great share it with another teacher friend because I know we all need help in this crazy time right now and if you stuck around this long, I've got another video that you can check out and a playlist on either side. And if you want to, hit the big circle button and you can subscribe to my channel. Good luck this year and happy teaching, friends.